Okay, in this video, I'm going to help you make your very first program, and you're going to boss your robot around and tell him what to do. And what we're going to end up doing is having him draw a square on the ground or drive himself in the pattern of a square. Now, before we get started, we want to just make sure that we can give him a basic command and handle the logistics of that. So here you are in your Sphero app. You want to hit your programs up top, and you want to create a new program. All this looks good. You're programming with blocks and Sphero. Let's call this program something appropriate. You're going to make a square uh, and it should load for you and you'll be able to start programming right away. Now, what we have here is you have a basically a bunch of Lego blocks, like you can drag your code blocks together and kind of build them like a, almost like a Lego house. Um, the most basic ones we're going to use today are in the movement down here. So if you click on movement and my favorite one to make him move is this roll block. So I'm going to drag that up to here. Once you have that there, you'll notice there are three different options. Basically, you're going to tell him which direction to roll, how fast to roll, and how long he should roll for how what um, how much time he should be rolling. So let's work backwards. I'm going to start here with the time. Don't uh, say anything too crazy because we have limited space here in the classroom. So let's just say he's going to roll for two seconds. His speed, I'm going to click that middle one. I, let's do something fairly mild, like somewhere around 30, less, definitely less than 50. So he's going to roll at this speed for two seconds, and we're going to leave this as zero, which means roll straight ahead. Now, the only thing is, what is straight ahead because if you look at your robot he doesn't look like he has you know a face or a front so here's something really important you want to go up here to this top right and click on aim once you've clicked aim now sorry i don't have a camera on the robot there's a little blue light that will illuminate that is his tail light that's that's the back of the robot if you press your arrows you can make him move around you want Basically, what I always do is I make that tail light point at me so that I know that he will roll away from me because that tail light is his, uh, the back of the robot. Once you've got him aimed, then I want you to press start and see if he just rolls straight ahead for two seconds, right? So here's what I'm going to say. Try that. Pause this video real quick and try that with your robot and see if you can make it work. Okay, so you, you, you can aim your robot, you can tell him to drive. What we're going to do is we're going to make a square. We're going to change this program to make it a square. Now, the good news is a square, basically you have one side length of your square, right? Now, here we go. If you click this block, we're going to cheat, and we're going to hit this copy icon right here. That block is copied. I'm going to click that, and I'm going to hit paste, right? Now... So there's one side length, there's another side length. Now, I want you to think about your geometry. How many side lengths, do, how many sides does a square have? Right, so you're gonna copy and paste. Now, the only thing is right now, if you run this, it's just gonna make one long line because it's always heading straight forward. So when you're done copying and pasting, the only thing you need to change is his direction. So he rolled forward for two seconds. Then I would need him to roll to the right for two seconds, et cetera, et cetera. So think about how many sides does the square have, so how many roll blocks are you gonna need, and think about the directions that you're gonna need him to roll in, and then you just copy paste. The only thing you've changed is your directions, and you should have a square. So what I'm gonna say is, once you get that copied and pasted, I want you to go give that program a run and make sure that your um, robot made you something that looks like a square. Okay, congratulations. Hopefully you made that square. Um, you may think he was a little rounded, like he needs a little bit of work. So like, for example, if you click these three dots here in the top right, you could look at, take a look at your sensor data. Sensor data is pretty awesome. Um, and you'll notice that he's a little wobbly, like he doesn't really have sharp edges. So what you could do is you can fix this kind of sharp edge problem by throwing in a little pause block. So if you go to your, where I'm going to switch around on you, I was in my movement block. If you go to your controls, and then you're going to look for this delay. 
grab this delay, and what you want is you want just a little bit of a delay, maybe for a second, each time that you do this after each side length. So that'll kind of pause him and help him to make a sharper turn, and then you will be happy. You'll have an awesome square. Congratulations, you just wrote your very first program.